Week 4. Exchanging Information Most English words are not very flexible. What I mean is that if you take a word like fun and change one letter, it has a totally different meaning like run, fin, or fur. English usually uses only suffixes or prefixes to change a word's function. Dying becomes undying, and devote becomes devotion, changing a verb to a noun. A prefix is added at the beginning of a word, and a suffix is added at the end. But there are a few words where changing a vowel keeps the basic meaning the same and only changes the function of the word. Run and sing are examples of this. Run, ran. Sing, sung, song, singing. In Arabic, almost all words work like this. They have a three-letter root that contains the meaning, and these letters can be moved around and have others added or changed. This flexibility means that you can produce many, many words with the same root. Let's look at the Arabic. If we take the word sakana, we can change it to produce different but related meanings. Sakana, to live. Sakan, a house or a dwelling, a place to live. Sukun, stillness, quiet. Sakin, living. Maskun, population. All of these words contain the same three consonants. In the line below, you can see some prefixes and suffixes used to conjugate verbs. These conjugations are all for the present tense. Teskunu, yeskunu, eskunu, teskununa. Notice that the stem of the verb in the middle remains the same. Nothing is inserted into it or changed. In Arabic dictionaries, words are not arranged alphabetically. Instead, the roots are arranged alphabetically. This is not the same as the glossary in your book. To look a word up by its root, you must first determine what the root consonants are. Ana eskunu. Nahnu neskunu. You'll want to make sure to memorize all of these conjugations. For sakana, sakana means to live. We'll go over the plural ones in another lesson. Let's look at the second set. Enta teskunu. Enti teskunina. Notice that these both have the same prefix, but enti adds a suffix. Let's look at the third set. Hua yeskunu. Hia teskunu. These only have a prefix and it is different. So in this set of conjugations, only one has a suffix. Also, two of the pronouns share a conjugation. Did you catch which ones they are? It's enta and hia. The conjugation for both of these is teskunu. Case for nouns communicates the role of a person or thing. Tense for verbs tells us when something happens, whether it is over, and so on. In Arabic, this tense communicates meanings like I go or I am going, the present tense. So it could be something you usually do or something you're doing right now. It is not something that happened in the past and is over or something that hasn't happened yet. It's very easy to form the negative of the present tense. Just add la before the verb. As in number one, Ana arifu al-arabiya. Hua la yarifu al-arabiya. You'll notice here that the pronouns are contrasting. In the second example, there is no pronoun. لا أعرف اسم أستاذي يعرف اسمي 
The verb conjugation usually gives enough information about the subject of the sentence. In fact, using a noun or pronoun with the verb is a way to stress something. For now, it will probably help you to use the pronoun with the verb. If you don't know how to say something in Arabic, you can still ask in Arabic. Or if you don't know the meaning of an Arabic word, you can find out. These structures can be useful during your partner activities, too. Let's look at the first one. Ma ma'ana kalimat blank bil'arabiya. What is the meaning of the word blank in Arabic? Or you can use the second one. Kefa akulu blank. How do I say blank? And the third choice is ma hadha. What is this? Obviously this works best if you're actually in front of something, asking someone else who can see it. To ask how much or how many there are of something, there is a single word in Arabic, come. The thing you're asking about will be singular, and it will take the accusative case. Come, uchtan, aindaki. In uchtan, you can see that an aleph has been added on the end. This is only a seat for the tanween fatha. The ta marbuta in the sentence below does not need to have an aleph added to it for the seat, but most letters do. Kam suratan fi betiha.